Hey, it's Miss Muller. It's time for our kindergarten learning, home learning time. We're working on packet number three now. We'll be working on packet number three, week one, day one. We should have packet number three. This is our last packet for the year. We'll start with the very first day. We're going to work on number words. We're going to count, name the number, and spell the word. We're starting with the first. I want you to tell me what the number is. This number is one. And you can trace the number. One. Then spell the word. O N E. One. Then you've got to find the hand that shows one finger. If you're going to cut and glue, make sure that you've done the other side of your page first before you cut it. If you want to just draw like I'm doing, that's okay too. It's not a drawing contest, just do the best you can. We're going to draw a hand with one finger. So we could do um, I'm going to draw my thumb kind of curled in, then we're going to draw one finger going up. And then the other fingers are down. So that could be one finger. Or you could do, you could just draw one stick if you want to. You could just draw one and two sticks for two. Whatever works for you is fine with me. As long as I can tell that you're showing me the number one and practice spelling the word. All right, now we're going to count and compare candy. We've got to count how many candies are in the jar. We'll start with our first jar. We have one, two, three, four, five, six. So we need to write the number six. One, two, three candies in this jar. So we write the number three. And we've got to decide, is six more than three, greater than three? Is six less than three, or are six and three equal? Look at your jars if you need help. Which jar has more in it? This jar has more in it. You would want that jar. So we need to make our alligator mouth to eat the side that has more. He's very hungry, so he wants to eat that side. His mouth is open on the side that has more. And remember, if they are the same, then you're gonna put this equal sign in between them. Five more boxes to do. Count carefully. Some of the candies are really close together, so you may want to touch them or draw a dot in them as you count. Now we're going to roll, read, and color a rhyme. If you have a dice, you can use a dice to do this. You roll it, and if you get a number one on your dice, you're going to look for words that say at. Any words that you see that say at, you're going to color them red. If you roll a number two, you're going to work, look for words that say an or that rhyme with an, and you're going to color them orange. If you roll a three, you're going to look for words that say app or that rhyme with app. You're going to color those words yellow. If you roll a four, you're looking for ag, words that rhyme with ag. You're going to color them green. If you roll a five, you're looking for ab, ab, words that rhyme with ab. You color them blue. And if you roll a six, you're looking for ad, ad. And you're going to color those words purple. All right, I don't have a dice with me today. So I'm just going to first, I'm going to look for all the at words. Or you could just read each word and color it when you find it. I'm going to start up here and I've got to read the word at. Cat, does that rhyme with at? Yes, it does. So I can color that butterfly red. You could go through and find all the other at words and color them all red if you want to. Or we can move to the next word right here. Add. Add. Had. Had. Had at? No. Had an? No. Had app? No. Had ag? No. Had alb? No. Had ad? 
yes, they rhyme. Had and add. So I color had purple. So when you get finished, all the red words should rhyme with each other. All the purple words should rhyme with each other. All the yellow words should rhyme with each other. Okay, so you're coloring words that rhyme the same color. Then we're going to do some writing. Before we start writing, look at your rules for good writing. I can use a capital letter, start your sentence with a capital letter. I can use finger spaces, put spaces between your words. It says my space, favorite space, weather space is. So when you write a word, leave a space after it before the next word. I can sound out words. Whatever you want to write, you got to make the sounds and then write the sounds that you hear. I can use punctuation, periods, question marks, and exclamation marks to help us know what you're thinking. Periods are telling, question marks are asking, and an exclamation mark shows excitement. And then I can draw a picture. So whatever you write about, you're going to draw a picture to match. Let's read what it says on the paper. My favorite weather is, then you got to tell us what is your favorite weather and why. Why is it your favorite? Here are some words to help you if you want to use them. Sunny, rainy, snowy, stormy, windy. So you could say my favorite weather is sunny weather because, tell me why that's the best, why you like it. Then draw a picture to match up here in the box. And our last page for today says I can read simple sentences. I want you to read the words in the boxes first. B, ed, bed, w, ed, wed, f, ed, fed, n, ed, ned, l, ed, led, t, ed, ted, r, ed, red. Then you're going to look at the picture. Think about what you see. I see a crayon. It has a word on it. It says red. Then I've got to read these sentences. There are two sentences here. I like my new bed. bed. I like my new bed. Does that go with this picture? I don't think so. Let's try the next one. I like the color red. I like the color red. Does that go with this picture? Yes. I like the color red, not I like my new bed. So you're going to get something to mark that circle with. You can put a big check mark in that circle or color that circle in, however you want to mark it to show that this is the sentence that goes with this picture. And look at your next picture. Read those two sentences and decide which one matches the picture. Great job. That's all for today. I will see you again tomorrow. Keep up the great work.